Hello everyone, Gabriel John Coombs here once again. Welcome to my next project. Uh, the last time we met, we've uh, defeated King Wart for the third time. And we finished off uh, Super Mario Bros. 2's second run. The Super Mario Bros. 2 round hack for the classic Nintendo. So... Our next project, according to my YouTube list, I still never changed this. I got to change this soon. My next project now is Super Mario Bros. 3. That's what we're going to be doing today. So let's load up our emulator, FCEUX. And let's open our ROM. ROM folder. Okay. Super Mario Bros. 3. Alright, World 1. Uh, let me just say one little thing before we get started here. Let me just say one little thing before we get started. I am going to be doing every level in the world, and I'm doing every world per video. So that means World 1 is going to be one video, World 2 is going to be one video, World 3 is going to be another video, World 4 is going to be my fourth video, 5, 6, 7, and 8. Right? Um, every level, everything will be cleared in a level before I'm every every level every obstacle everything will be cleared before I move on so let's begin world number one stage one so yeah we're not worrying too much about we're not worrying about subcon or wart or anybody now. In this game, yeah, this game is totally different. This game we're back onto the topic of Bowser now. Because if you remember, back in Super Mario Bros. One, we had Bowser kidnap Princess, and then Super Mario Bros. Two took a dramatic turn when we. Forgot all about Bowser and we decided to think about King Wart. Well, now we're back on the topic of Bowser now. So, to so grab the P switch, well, not really grab. So, anyway, you come up here and you come down here and you get money. For those of you who like money, for those of you who like money, that's a good thing to have. Anyway, moving right along. We get a mushroom. Okay, let me just say one little thing here. I'm interrupting my video too many times, I know. One thing of note, the, the cards that you get throughout the game, if you get three stars, if you get three stars, it's a one-up. Or no, sorry, three stars is a five-up. Three mushrooms is a two up. Three fireballs is a three up. If you get any unevens, if you get like even two stars and a mushroom, then it's a one up. If you get two fireballs and a mushroom, it's a one up. If you get a mushroom, a fireball, and a star, it's a one up. Right? That's the thing. Every time, every time you don't get three of a kind, you just get a one up instead of a two up, a three up, or a five up. So let's continue. We got a mushroom. Number two. One, two. So you come up here, might as well get the extra points. So you use the P switch to get right up here. To grab some coins. Coins. Anyway, you make your way through here. Uh, 
Okay. There are, I do believe there's a star in one of these. I could be wrong. Yeah, there is. Okay. So, by running. Okay, it's a one-up. Okay, I can get a one-up now because I know I'm not going to get three of a kind of mushrooms or three of a kind of stars. Number three. Okay, this lovely uh, one right here that's uh, being hit by my tail. Do not take that if you want to show the whole level. If you want to do the whole level, don't take it. Because if you take that music note, you're skipping most, if not all, of the level. So don't take it. Alright. So we're pretty much at the end of the level anyway, so there was really no point. There's a reason why I took that. I won't be showing it in this playthrough, but if you if you blow on this whistle, you can use warp zones. Okay. So let me save right here because I'm going to show you guys now those whistles and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Welcome to warp zone. So right now you can't go down or forward or anything. Right now, you can go right to World 4 if you want. There you go. There you go. But, no. We're not going to be using that. Anyway, to the Mushroom House. Pick a box. Its contents will help you on your way. Uh, let's try Middle. We get a leaf. Now, there is a little bit of a thing here. There is a little prize for this level. If you can get all the coins in this level, you will, uh, if you can get all the coins in this level, Now, I'm not going to, but if you can get... I won't be able to, and I'm probably not going to, but if you can get all the coins in this level, a uh, secret uh, mushroom house will appear, where you can get... where you can get a pair of pea wings, which I will explain in a few minutes. One up, I think. Yeah, one up. So anyway, moving on. Okay, so the P wings. Uh, if you get a hundred percent coins in number four, a mushroom house shows up here where Mario is standing, and pretty much, yeah, you can get whatever from that. You can get a pair of P wings, which makes you fly permanently until you get hit. And when you get hit, then it's different. Okay, so next thing's... So we're at a card house now. Holy moly, look at Mario's face. Line up the pictures and get a prize. You only get one try. Ah! Sugar! Mushrooms are two up. Fire flowers are three. Stars are five. Now... Okay. So we're at our first castle. Well, not really a castle. It's more of a fortress, actually. The castles is the, at the end of the world. These are more fortresses. Okay, don't take that. Because that won't help you right now.
Okay. So there's a reason why I saved here. Okay, if you come all the way up here, you can enter a secret room where you can get another whistle. But the only problem is, it doesn't unlock your key part there. So I, w I highly recommend not taking it. You can if you want, but... Uh, you can if you want, but I highly don't recommend it because you'll... You won't unlock that little key thing there. So, yeah. Alright, remember the Birdos from the Super Mario Bros. 2 game? They were the mini-bosses? Well, here's our mini-boss. Here is the mini-boss for every single fortress in the entire game. I don't know his name, but he's pretty easy to beat. He's your mini boss, and he will unlock your key thing there. Anyway, moving right along. Number five. It kind of looks like we're underwater, but we're not. We're actually in a cave. Oh, I lost it. You can take that there if you want. Don't take it if you want to. Be, if you want to go through the whole level. And not skip most, if not all of it. Don't take it. And that's it. Number five is done. So, star. Let's see if I can get two more stars for a five up now. Number six. Be careful going through here, because those moving blocks could be your friend or they could be your enemy. Sometimes they're a big help, sometimes they're not. I highly recommend being careful. Be as careful as you can, pretty much. Anyway, moving right along. Alright. Okay, well, I'll have to get the third star in World 2, I guess, because there is nothing else here. Okay, before we move on, we came across a card thing. Flip over any two cards and see if they match. Miss Toys and you're out. Okay. Go! <clears throat> oh well. So it's time for another another enemy battle, I call them. They're more mini boss battles, but I call them enemy enemy battles. And we picked up a fire flower. So yeah, we uh, just fought uh, the hammer bros. And we got a star for it. The hammer bros are all over the place pick trying to kill you pretty much. Pick a box, its contents will help you on your way. Let's pick middle this time. Another leaf. Awesome. And it's time for the castle. The world one castle. Oh, it's terrible. The king has been transformed. Please find the magic wand so we can change him back. He's a dog. <laughs> He's a dog. Anyway. Anyway, moving right along. The Koopa Kids are the ones that are behind this. Bowser and his Koopa Kids. So yeah, we're actually going to be going after Bowser's kitties for the most, if not all, of this game. They are the evil masterminds behind this. 
Um, this World 1 castle is actually pretty easy to get past, considering it's the first castle of the game. All you gotta do is just be careful, avoid your targets, pretty much. And we're at the end. So I think this is Iggy Koopa. I could be wrong. I'm pretty sure it's Iggy. But anyway, like like every Koopa kid. Okay, with every Koopa kid. Okay, with every Koopa kid, uh, you have to stop on their head three times to make them drop their wand that they stole. Um, some of them will stun you after they hit the ground. Like when you hit them, when they hit the ground again, they'll stun you. So jump for, for that. But that will be explained later on in future videos to come. But right now we got Buddy's Magic Wand back. Oh, thank heavens. I'm back to my old self again. Thank you so much. Here is a letter from the princess. Wait, what? Princess Peach? Okay. Greetings. If you see any ghosts, be careful. They will give chase if you turn away. I have enclosed a jewel that helps protect you. Princess Toastal. P-Wings! And we're on the world too, the desert land. But that's it for now. Yep, that's it for now. In the next video, we will make our way through world two, the desert land, and grab our second wand. So until then, this is Gabriel John Coombs saying adios, amigos. <laughs>